Hi, and welcome to another nail-biting episode of my Home Ideas Fix-It Repairs channel. Uh, so today we're going to talk about a problem which I've had for a while. I'm sure some of you have it, and it's to do with landscape lighting. Let's go take a look at the problem. So landscape lighting, you've got to love it. Everybody loves it, makes your house look great, but invariably we have a problem with it, and that is damage to these units. Here's our fantastic light over here, of course, as you can see. But invariably what happens, because of gardeners, pets, kids, errant rugby balls, whatever it is, these things get broken. And here's what happens. As you can see, it breaks off. And it breaks off here. There's no thread left. And if you look inside, you may be able to see the remnants of the thread. So what do you do? Well, I've looked online, I've spent hours and hours going through forums and trying to see what people do. And the obvious thing would be to kind of take it apart and uh, buy a new uh, stem for it. But if you look online, there are no stems for sale. People don't sell the stems for these. They want you to buy new units. And the new units can be $30, $40, $50 each. And if you've got like 20 of them, it's a problem, right? So, of course, being the um, innovative type of person that I am, I figured, well, maybe they can be repaired. So here we have one of the stems, and you can see on one end you've got this uh, thread, and on the other end it's completely chewed off and broken. Um, now, this is an, what's called an NPT thread. It's a pipe thread. And so, of course, I figured, well, that's kind of easy. This is made of alloy. I'll just go and buy a die. Here is a die. A half-inch NPT thread. You can see it's written on there. And we can put this into this vise over here. And now that it's tight, we can work this into it and start turning it and start cutting a new thread. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to save you the trouble. Even with this wrench, this pipe wrench, it is incredibly difficult to cut this thread. And as you can see, it's going to start spinning around. And I could put two hands on this and I can, trust me, I've tried to do this. It just is very, very difficult to cut a thread into this alloy pipe. So that is not going to work. So what else can you do? Well, we need to have a piece of pipe which has the correct internal diameter, which in this case is half an inch. And it needs to have the MPT threads cut into it because as we've seen, we don't really want to have to cut them in. Either it's going to be very difficult or in the case of this alloy, by the time you grip it tight enough, you're going to crush the alloy. So that's not going to help. Uh, and as far as I know, there you know, the obvious thing that came to mind was black pipe, which is used in construction to carry gas around a house. Uh, that is very, very heavy metal. Uh, heavy metal. It's very heavy and it's overkill and it probably would be too much for our purposes. So all of a sudden, I remembered that there's another place where you can find pipe with MPT threads. And that is in the irrigation part of your hardware store. So here we go. Have a drum roll, please. And here is our hero to the rescue. And what this is, this is a six inch piece of PVC pipe. It's very, very strong. It's already got MPT thread threads cut in it. And it's available in different, different sizes. This one's six inches here. Got a little label. We'll take the label off. We'll wipe it down with some paint thinners. And we can even paint it. Obviously, I'm using a, a rattle can of uh, 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 like semi-gloss uh, enamel, and this will this this will take the paint nicely. All right, here's our hero. And the best thing about this is, it's about 92 cents. I think it was less than a dollar. So this is definitely a very economical way to fix the problem. Now, taking these things apart is an absolute piece of cake. So there's very little to it. There's a couple of screws in the top, which have to come undone. There you go, they're out here. So the lid comes off. We've got a tiered piece, another piece, and we've got a bulb. Now to get that bulb out, you just need a little screwdriver. What you want to do is undo this little screw in here. Okay. So once, once that screw is out, the unit can come off. The bulb comes out like that. And this connector will slide down into the pipe and come out, as you can see. So now we've taken this apart. We can see the remnants of the old thread in there. And what we're going to do is get a pair of pliers and we're going to just force this out. 
in essence what I'm going to do is, is clamp down onto this piece here now it's it's fairly uh, soft alloy so just by putting it in there and twisting it, it should actually rip it out and there it is it's ripped out now so what we need to do is just get the wire out of the way a wee bit of force there it is you see it's coming out there that's our problem this is broken off as you can see and that's really the issue so we've got our parts cleaned and then sprayed and painted I haven't gone crazy on these I mean I'm just painting the outside I just want to get these to look good and work well so we have all our parts nicely laid out here um, obviously the length of this pipe here a uh, pipe <laughs> the length of this cable here is going to determine if you can use this piece which we've obviously painted but if it's too short you can always buy a four inch piece this is a six inch piece and the uh, the benefit of that is it's about 25 cents cheaper so you can all move into a new tax bracket the first thing that happens is we're going to thread this through here which as you can see works very very nicely this can then go and screw into the pre-existing st uh, stake here um, this guy goes on top of that and we can just keep turning it until the thing beds down as tight as we want it to be that's pretty good right there give it a little bit more just for good old measure light bulb goes back in again and now we can start to pop this guy back together again and there you have it as we can see it's extremely robust as well ready for the next assailant whoever that might be so I wanted to do this little video because I think it's an extremely valuable video I haven't found anything like this online and I did a lot of research um, you can buy stakes for these lamps but you cannot buy the stems and I think it's almost criminal but I guess that's what they want to do is to sell you new lamps so on my property I've got about I don't know maybe 50 of these things and if I had to replace them that's $2,500 or 25 bucks for the for these little stems that are made of plastic and they're probably going to be a lot stronger and more, more robust than what they had there anyway it's a really cool tip i wanted to share it i haven't seen anything like it and i hope it saves you some cash and a lot of frustration saves you some frustration doesn't cause you any frustration <laughs> anyway enjoy good luck and uh see you next tip next time i have a tip for something handy to do around the house